What's up guys? So the Star Wars Schmodown came out on Collider and we haven't seen it yet. We obviously know what happens because yeah. we were there, <laughs> but uh, I figured we would do a little reaction slash commentary. This won't be the whole video and if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it first yes. because we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna spoil everything. Uh, so I'll put a link to that in the description and in the cards. Then come back here and we'll just talk about what it was like doing all this and I'll talk about kind of the big moments and what was going on in my mind and all that stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and start. <laughs> just pretty much looking confused. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's the stuff I'm most You're worried like, to see. What do I do yeah. with my hands? <laughs> I thought you had the same shirt on. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so this is the hard part for me. <laughs> That's it. I just like, I can't, I can't showboat. Yeah. I was too nervous anyway. What an intro! I mean, after you have two people in Jedi robes, he comes out like he just walked out of Target. I mean, that's... <laughs> <laughs> You're still, like, just laughing. I was laughing, too. I wish they cut to me. That shirt was not from Target. It no, was it's from, from T-Public. But, I mean, almost every other shirt I wear is from Target, so... <laughs> what pilot was codenamed Red Six during the first Death Star battle? So close to Red 3. So close. <laughs> now we know I have the worst handwriting of the bunch. <laughs> In the movie Revenge of the Sith, what is Obi-Wan's call oh, sign yeah. during the space battle of- Look at that face. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's the face of someone that doesn't know it. Alex? Uh, I went with Saber 2. That is incorrect. Sam? Red leader. That's correct. Oh! Sam! <laughs> Damn it, Sam. And All right. it begins. Yeah. So- <laughs> Saber 2, I, like, I don't know why I didn't just go with a color, like, you know, every other Star Fighter Squadron is, except, like, Rogue Squadron, but <laughs> in my mind, I was like, as a Jedi Squadron, maybe, he would have, like, a Jedi kind of name, so I was thinking, like, Knight 1, Saber 1, like, Light 1. Is Anakin but, Saber 1? Yeah, and then in my mind, I was like, Anakin's the better pilot, Anakin would be the flight leader, so I went with Saber 2. That's, so there's, there's where that answer came from. <laughs> Let's do a round one recap. Yeah. Yeah, I had no problem with that. Like, the one that I missed, I was like, I'm not ashamed to miss that, at least. Like, I was, I was nervous about just, yeah, having a brain fart and missing something crazy easy. When that came up and I didn't know it, I was like, okay, like, <laughs> that's yeah. fine. How did it feel to spin the wheel? It's heavier than I thought it would be. <laughs> that, that's such a hard category. Well, here's the thing. Here's why I spun. is because this is where, like, this game is going to be won or lost, pretty much. Because now you can steal. Yeah. So you want the easy category, not only so you get your three questions. I wasn't really afraid to take the villains category, but... I thought that it would be the more difficult one. So you want your competitors to get a difficult category so then you can steal those questions that they missed. So yeah, I wanted Sam to land on, well, not who said it because he knows <laughs> who said everything, but like I wanted him to land on weapons and tech and vehicles because yeah. like I'm strong there yeah. and that would have been ideal. In what system is the resistance base located? The Ilenium system. Two points for Alex. Whoa! There you go. Yeah. There you go. Somebody saw that movie. <laughs> All right, here you go. <laughs> Question two. According to Han Solo, who stole the Millennium Falcon from him? Duquesne. Two points. Yeah. I'm so, like, I just started to go through the chain. I'm like impressed with myself. This question in The Force Awakens here, Alex. So How many portions does Uncar plot? There's me offer looking at Molly. <laughs> 64. Two points for Alex. do it i feel huge fear <laughs> <laughs> so now we struck fear in sam's eyes yeah so. i mean that's what i wanted is i wanted him to sweat who greeted obi-wan when he landed on 
Utapau in Revenge of the Sith. Two points. Tio and Madun. Yeah. Uh, right then and there, I was like, damn it, Scrimshaw. Like, I thought for sure I was the only one that would have that. And, like, I knew, I knew you were going to be trouble as we went into this. Like, I've, I've been on his podcast. I know how smart he is. And I was like, I was, ugh. And then he proved it. How many characters lose an appendage in The Empire Strikes Back? I'm going to go with the ones I remember two. in two. Two is incorrect. <laughs> so we're going to have a steal That's here. Joseph. Three. Correct. And we have Shayna. I had one. Alex. I had already written down two. So... This is my only regret <laughs> in the Schmodown, is that I just went ahead and I, I thought, and I couldn't remember the third, it's uh, the Wampa Luke and 3PO. I couldn't remember 3PO, and I was sitting there trying to think, like, should I just go ahead and add one for safety, because that's just how I feel every time. I always feel like I'm forgetting one. I wrote down two. Could have wiped it away. I wonder, like... I want to see if you can see my, <laughs> like, little moral dilemma. So, <laughs> those dead eyes right there are now trying to decide if they should uh, erase and rewrite my answer, because I wrote two, and instantly knew it was three. But going into round three... Like, I was pretty much sure of how the rest of it was going to go. And, uh, that, that's, I, I just felt like that whole game was going to be won or lost in the, the, the wheel round. Yeah. What question does Darth Vader ask in his first line Quotes, in man. Star Wars, A New Hope? Where are those transmissions you received? What have you done with those plans? You're like, that's very like, yeah, what's the exact one? Like, I intercepted. I switched. I would receive. It, it intercepted. wasn't jamming com links. That's true. Specific, I, I, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give it to you because it was it, it was where are those transmissions you intercepted? You yeah. intercepted. Very generous of you, Christian and Mark. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> quotes. I, that's where we got to work that's on next time. A, like ridiculously complicated quote too. I'm nervous, and I know how this plays out. <laughs> Droids. <laughs> Reducer of their kind here, and your five-point question is, what is the name of Obi-Wan Kenobi's red <laughs> astromech droid? That's me looking at Molly. R4P17. How wow. does that even get out there? <laughs> he did it. He did it. How does that even get out there? He's got... <laughs> he's now put himself in position oh. here. Little bummer right now is that uh, Sam turned to me and shook my hand like, dude, holy cow. I was hoping that would be on there so, yeah. <laughs> just so I could make a gif of it. It happened. It happened. It happened. <laughs> By the way, I was like mortified at the chance of a sudden death with Scrimshaw. Like, <laughs> yeah, at this point, he... I was just as scared of him as I was of Sam. Yeah. The Empire Strikes Back. Who said, get a shuttle ready? I shall assume full responsibility for losing them and apologize to Lord Vader. You're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you could see my face. Captain Nita. And you <laughs> Look at your face! I'm like... Well, like, at this point... I'm just as confused as Sam. Yeah. Like, I, for sure, <laughs> when they started that question, I started to laugh because I thought they were just messing with him. Yeah. But that's the numbers he chose. That's how it happened. Because, I mean, for those of you who don't know, that was the same answer to the question that he lost on the last one? It, the, yeah, at Celebration, he brain farted and forgot Captain Nita's name. So and that, so, yeah, so I was, like, certain that they were all just messing with Sam. So, yeah, didn't win, but I was going in and I was like, you know what? I will be happy if I make Sam sweat. Like, everyone going into this, Sam Witt was, was by far the favorite to win. And I was like, if I can just make him a little nervous, <laughs> like, as long as he doesn't run away with it, I'll be good. And, like, me and Scrimshaw kept right up with him. I mean, again, like, thinking about the 
possibility of having to do a sudden death with Scrimshaw is mortifying. Yeah. And they were talking about like, oh, we need to get you guys to do a one-on-one. And I was like, yes, of course I'd do that. But also, I don't want to face Joseph. I don't want to do that. Congratulate the Star Wars tie. Yeah, let's... uh... All right, Ken, so you see this match. You're watching it backstage there. Did you think, oh, Sam's got this locked or you didn't know who you were going to be playing? All five of these competitors had a chance to win. Absolutely. I work with Joseph, like you said, uh, on Force Center. Uh, you, you know, we've had him on Collider Jedi Council. You know what he knows. Alex is how I studied to win the last time. Right. Uh, I went to his channel to be like, what right. was it? Oh, Alex knows. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Thank you. Love you, man. Wait, okay. I told you what was going to happen here. We'll see you at the this uh, is, spectacular. This is not true. That's impossible. <laughs> it, Ken. He's le- Ken. See, now, like, part of me is kind of glad I didn't win because I don't think I could have handled that betrayal. Yeah. Ken, like, you'd break my heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I do not envy either of them. Com- oh, the, the Iron Man match? Yeah. I do. <laughs> I think that sounds like an awesome idea. I mean, like... I mean, are they going to do that? I imagine, yeah, they're not going to say they're not going to build it up like that and then not do it yeah but so it's just like one question on top of the other one like yeah just question after question like to me Ugh. that <laughs> that that's appealing that sounds like fun yeah i can i can hang in there but yeah. unless there's a a time a buzzer to it i yeah. know like sam has said that that's his weakness Although he said that and then immediately, like, got to before the question was even asked. So, I don't know (laughs) how much truth there is to that. I know I, like, I usually have to take a second to, like, cycle through the the computer system and find the answer. But uh, (laughs) it, it sounds like a lot of fun. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. But, like... Outside of just the match itself, this is the second time we've gotten to go to Collider. Uh, we got to watch them uh, shoot some stuff uh, for the Schmodown, the Collider Collision. Yeah. We, we got to be there for that. And every time I'm there, it, it like the whole group of people, everyone that's involved in the Schmodown, whether it's Collider or the other competitors, like the room is full of people that like are so passionate about this idea it's so much fun and like every single person that we met at collider was awesome like of course christian and mark ellis mark riley uh john roca emma fife perry nimeroff they're all insanely nice <laughs> they're yeah they are the <laughs> nicest people the most welcoming people like i was going in there nervous as hell <laughs> to do this and like they they put you at ease and so did everyone else like all the other competitors i mean i knew joseph uh and so he was like a calming presence uh shayna was so nice Mm -hmm. steel we had never met before but now like by the way by the time this video comes out his podcast will be out where like we we did this right after the schmodown and just talked about it and like steel is super cool super funny obviously like yeah, like go, i said earlier go check out his podcast like and... i said earlier like him and scrimshaw brought such like entertainment where i felt like i was just like <laughs> bundled up and of course sam was so humble and so nice and like uh you didn't see it in the video but he like turned to me and was like dude like you know your stuff and he shook my hand and like my heart exploded so uh and like of course ken knapsack i mean he is the person that i met at collider first and i he may have gone to the dark side but i still have faith that there's good in him and that he will return um and i could never hate him anyway so (laughs) so yeah that's that's how it was to be on the schmodown it was so much fun I'm happy with my performance. Like, the only regrets I have are my own fault. So, like, what are you going to do? You're going to learn, and the next time, I'm going to be a little better. And hopefully I'm a little looser. There will be a next time. Yeah. I'm, I'm scared to do it, but I will face Joseph Scrimshaw any day. <laughs> and then we'll hang out. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, uh, again, if you haven't watched this video, please go check out the Schmodown, because it is seriously one of the most unique and fun shows on youtube 
Uh, I watched it for a year before I was even invited to be a part of it. I think it's great because I just love movie trivia. So go check it out. Um, thanks for watching. Yes. And may the force be with you. <laughs>